Hello and blessings beautiful souls, Sarava and Ashe to you. How are you doing today? It's so nice to be looking into your beautiful smiling faces. So today is actually Friday and unfortunately I have a horrendous task ahead of me. Today is the day when my hubby and I are going to be emptying all of our, <sighs> all of our toilet buckets. So I'm not happy about that at all and it's going to occupy quite a bit of time today. So I thought that while well, I'm in the middle of doing a little bit of home and hearth magic today i thought that i would include you into this moment knowing of course that this isn't something that i've never ever 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 shared on my channel before so i'm going to be doing a spoken word spell to aid me in cleaning some of my zero waste uh, dish scrubbies and uh, wipes like cloth wipes i'm doing this because well, they need it. And also because my children are starting to come down with a cold, it's starting to cascade down each and every one of them. And so I thought that I would get in there early and start to do that, you know, general house disinfection that I like to do when everyone starts getting sick. And also I can start to feel a little tickle in my throat. So I'm not stoked about that. And that is another reason why I want to get in and do this type of thing. Now call me old school or a poet, either or, I don't mind. But I'm a huge believer in spoken word spells. They are magic in the moment. And when you can channel that spoken word, you step into that powerful place of the bard. And it's just such a great skill to cultivate. Now, many people out there love spoken word spells and so they have grimoires, books of shadows, personal magical journals and the like bursting with such magical creations. Whereas I like to be a bit more off the cuff when I do this. When I feel the call to do a spoken word spell, I stop, I tap into spirit and then I go for it and then I let it go. And later, in a different situation, sometime down the track, if I need that spell again, it will come to me. And that is how it's happened before. I might go a whole year without having used a spell, but when it's relevant, it will just re-emerge in my consciousness and I'll just use it in the moment. So I've got a bit of a refidex, if you will, of old spells in my head. Not all of which I use on a regular basis, and yes, I do forget some. I'm not a superhuman brain here, but most I find come from spirit. Spirit will hold it and then return it to me when I need it. Just the way that it is for me, I'm not sure how it is for you. Nevertheless, let's get stuck into it. that festers in this pot. I banish now your muck and grot. Move away like moth to flame, taking with you every germ and stain. My will be done, Sarava Ashe. So as that sits now on the fire bubbling away, I use the element of fire in my spell and also to help cleanse. And I have an amethyst cluster placed on top of the pot and now I'm just going to leave it there for a little while. I'm going to change the water and then I'm going to add some essential oils. I'll reboil it, then I will wring it all out and hang it on the line where it will hopefully dry and be cleansed of all of the grot that has slowly accumulated as a result of household chores and general usage. I don't dare to, I'm too fragile and for I just wanted to mention that I believe it is so important to be able to weave the magic into the mundane. 
And even on those days where you're not feeling great, where you're still just slothing around in your PJs, because let's face it, we all have those days, don't feel bad. We all have to sloth from time to time. It's a way in which we can just naturally recalibrate. But even on those days where we're playing the part of the sloth, the sacred sloth, if you will, there's still that opportunity to weave in small amounts of ritual, simple magic, simple ritual into the everyday. But by taking that extra step to just quickly bang out a little spoken word spell and create that little ambiance, light a piece of stick incense and put a crystal on top of the pot, like it just adds a little something extra, something so simple, and yet it creates this ambiance of magic. And if we can manage to do that each and every day, then we can live that beautiful, magical lifestyle that many witches crave. And so that is it for today, short and sweet. I hope you've enjoyed this video, it was pretty different. And uh, yeah, it was just so nice to be able to share that with you. I've never done it before on my channel, so please be kind with that. And with all of that said and done, I'm wishing you so much love, luck, peace and joy. Please do take care. If you've enjoyed this video, do share it around, give it a thumbs up, comment below on any fun spoken word spells that you like to use because that would be super, super awesome if we could exchange those spoken word spells. There are always out there those with that, you know, solid grasp on poetry and spoken word. So please do share that if you are one of those individuals and let us all absorb that beautiful art form that you have. And that is it. Wishing you so much love, luck, peace and joy. Take care. Bye.